So as you can see, I have all these territories and I could stand stay here for like forever and I would still stay at um, and I would still have zero manpower because I gain almost nothing from all those territories. Let's go with them. No. Medium aircraft. Sure. Thanks, Ergonon. See you soon. Bye bye. It's like World War One. Romania is making a comeback. More than likely, likely with the help of Germany. Let's go with the res with the destroyers. Start building warships. Yeah, Jazz, I can clone more dudes. I'm just waiting for... For more airplanes. You guys are all green, for some reason. Let's train them. Is the Lord is asking after this one or Portugal? Will you do an historical mode of game? A game going historically? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. If I start as Germany, for example, it's gonna be a pushover. Oh, historical mode off. Yeah, I, I can do that. But I guess that um, the AI only picks this stuff randomly. I think they pick these more randomly. Instead of um, going the historical way. Piper is asking, is saying liberate Estonia, Marco. I'm gonna liberate them all. They're all gonna be liberated.
Let's see how many airplanes do we have. Over 2000. This is wonderful. Okay, these guys are all in good shape. That's the case. Let's disband a few of them. <laughs> grab manpower and uh, go, go do that stuff again Silly. This is much better. Okay, we have some manpower to to work with. We find finally have a decent amount of divisions along the border with the, with the axes. We are gonna need more. We're building more. Let's go to speed 5. I don't know, I, need, I, I guess I need to do some more of these. Boring. But I need it. I'm actually producing lots of stuff. I don't have to wait for the nuclear bombs any longer. Just have to be patient. And click a lot. Train the troops, go invade them. But it's much less work if I simply wait for the nukes.
two old gamers is saying you should still get nukes just to demonstrate the mechanics people will appreciate that sure i will but i, I don't have to wait for nukes to go kill germany i have the production to do it i just need manpower Jazz is saying I want to see some nu some nuclear nuclear fireworks. You will. It's very pretty. It's very well done, in my opinion. This game is very pretty. And Portugal just missed. Them. Nope, this is a replay. So where was I? Portugal is being a, a big disappointment in this tournament. Okay, we've reached the maximum. So let's go back to speed speeds five. Wait for these dudes. Most production. Yeah, we're, we're, we're recovering pretty, pretty well. This stuff is being built pretty fast. With all these bonuses. Just gonna build civilian factories. And my game freeze. The US declared war on Japan. Interesting. The very first time that I see the US declaring war on Japan and not the other way around, I think. Um, nope, not really. I saw it in Hearts of Iron 3 too, once. Let's go with this, just in case I forget it. Please lord, I'm not gonna take any chance. I'm not gonna attack anyway, anyone, until I'm strong enough to deal with Germany. Yeah, 
Yeah, after I have the strength to defeat Germany, it won't matter. Why the hell are they keeping 19 divisions over there? is probably stupid to create a new theater down here and I will the hell is this frozen again? Free India, yeah. Well spotted. But they're in the f in the axis. I guess I need to attack the Germans before they 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 finish off the Soviets. The Soviets are being attacked from multiple places. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe because Free India is a puppet of Japan, I'm not sure. Two old gamers is saying Japanese por portrait for Free India. They're probably a puppet. It's a they're a puppet of German Germany. I was expecting them to be a puppet of of Japan simply because of that portrait. So let's see if we saved more factories. We're importing lots of steel. Wait one day or so. Yay! Nice. Help the Soviets. It's the same thing. Two old gamers is saying, exporting 48 oil and importing 56. Possibly, I don't know. But if. Let's see. From exports twenty. I'm not sure exactly sure where I can see that export. Whatever. Let's let's go with this. The writing under the oil. No, they're exporting. The Soviets are exporting oil to all these countries.
doesn't matter, whatever, it's, it's the same thing. I don't think it matters much, I'm not uh, actually... I'm gaining a shit ton of factories from other countries, from my exports to other countries, which is more than what I'm spending to import. We're, bu we're building, thanks to the speed at which we are producing factories, in we now have, we can build four nuclear reactors if you want it, if you want it, this was what I wanted, I wanted four, at the very least four at the same time. And we'll have even more than that. At the speed that we, that we are building these. I just wish this went um, faster. Just look at the manpower. Look at the manpower. London conference. This is a bit outdated. Barely moved. I've gained 1.12k. Since I did the... Um, the exploit. I ended with 80k. Now I have 81.12. Needless to say that it's it would take forever to build an army. Let's wait for these guys to deploy. Gonna create a new front. I'll name them uh, later. For now, this is good enough. Seriously? I can assign to these guys, but I can't. I'm not okay. They d I don't have a front. Forgot about that. Without the front, I cannot. I knew that, but I didn't remember that I didn't create a front. I had the front here, but uh, I deleted it. Whatever happens if the Germans get near Moscow, well, these guys will still last. And Portugal almost scored. Cristiano Ronaldo. I was gonna say, I'm gonna attack Germany if they get too close to, to Moscow. But I doubt that's needed. These guys have 90% national unity. So what do we want next?
Maybe this one. I'm very far behind in these decks. Okay, cool. Let's let's go with the fighter focus. <laughs> Asian ninja is saying, "Are so violent four more like Border Gore Simulator 2016?" Yeah, but this will go away when the this conference is done. These borders don't look so terrible. They're pretty much the same. Almost everywhere. Except of that and of course Luxembourg. And Ireland. I mean, if we forget about Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark. But I've seen a picture in on, on Reddit where it was like this. I think it was on Reddit. Everywhere in Europe, pretty much, or a big chunk of Europe like this. So it was pretty disgusting. Eighty one point sixty eight K, you see? How much time I would need to actually grab some manpower even by despite own owning the entire of entirety of France pretty much and um, the, the entirety of the UK? Two hundred and thirteen days until we can build nuclear reactors. Let's start building some destroyers. Is the biggest port capacity for one hundred ships? Let's grab more steel from the US. <laughs> 